Now let us find field inside cavity of two overlapping spheres. So we have two uniformly charged spheres of charge density rho and minus rho. So these are solid spheres. And because they are overlapping, so you can imagine that inside of this region, there will be no charge, there will be zero charge because the densities are equal and opposite. So we need to find the field inside this region. So for that we are going to use this formula for a uniformly charged sphere. Inside that the electric field is given as rho r by 3 epsilon. So diagram diagrammatically you can see if we have rho coulomb per meter cube sphere then from center if we have a point that's whose position is r vector then electric field at that point is rho r by 3 epsilon. So because they are overlapping, so we can use the principle of superposition and uh, and calculate individual electric field due to each sphere and then do the vector sum of that. So due to sphere, so let's read this. Therefore, when two uniformly charged positive and negative spheres of same charge density are overlapped, field in the cavity is given by superposition principle. That is Ep at the point P is E1 plus E2. E1 vector will be from here, we are using this formula. So rho r1 vector by 3 epsilon. E2 vector will be minus rho r2 vector by 3 epsilon. So if you take rho by 3 epsilon common, you will get rho 1 r1 minus r2 vector. And that you can see from the diagram, r1 vector minus r2 vector is a vector, which gives our result rho a vector by 3 epsilon which is a constant so it doesn't matter you take which point inside this cavity everywhere the field is constant and its value is rho a by 3 epsilon